Hello everyone, it's RP Jimmy, and we are back with more WrestleQuest, myself and Bill. Last time we lost. Bill, how are you doing? I'm hoping to make a comeback today. Although, if you remember correctly, we did have a star in our midst, in Stag, who would yes. not go down. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, well I did level them up a bit, and we're just going to go right to where we left off here. The confrontation with the plastic tornado. Yep. And cold. I'm just like, wish you could skip all this, because I already know all of this. Yep. Mm -hmm. we, we did this at the end of the last episode. Correct. And now we're doing it again. Hopefully we win, otherwise this will be a very awkward episode. Mm -hmm. Right, how about we wrestle for it? I remember all of this. Here we go. So, Bill, what's, what's on your mind? What's on my mind? Uh, you know, it, it, it seems like... I'm going to lower this a little bit just because, I don't know, it just seemed like it really went very high when the battle started. All of a sudden, yeah. yeah. Alright, so go ahead. You know, it, it seems like, to me, as of and, and I don't pay much attention to them on social media wrestling fans can have been like kind of weird what I mean by that mm -hmm. is they're offended by everything yeah we'll go with that or they're very disappointed in something like a perfect example would be Punk's first promo when he got back to WWE recently where like, he did the promo, and then everyone's like, Oh, it was a bad promo. He didn't bash anyone. He didn't say anything. Wait, who's promo? CM Punk. Oh, CM Punk. Okay. And I'm like, well, what do you want him to I, do? I thought, the first I thought you said Hulk. Promo? I was like, what, brother? No, no, no. Hulk, Hulk <laughs> did not do a promo on Hulk. <laughs> but no, I mean, it's just... It, the, the, the internet wrestling community, just been very weird, and I just don't get it. Mm -hmm. Like, what did what did you want Punk to do? And, and I'm not, you know, defending Punk or anything, but what did you want him to do? Did you want him to like burn every single person in a Provo? That that's what I don't get. See, I was going a different way in the fact that, like, I just feel like today's fan is, or at least when this comes online, are just a, what is this? I don't like this. They know who to go after. Yeah, after what happened last time. Uh, we, but it didn't do much damage. Well, good. Well, also because I'm leveled up more now, too. That's also probably part of it. Let's see what we can hit up. What's wrong with you? Interesting. Look at this. So, so on this one required Toy Box Jimmy, who's not even on this team. And then when you go down to the next one... Well, that's... I can do that one, but I guess I don't have enough right. thing for some reason. Oh, weird. Yeah, well, I don't think I can do any of them. That's weird. All right. Hmm. Uh, okay, so, anyway... Yeah, like I said, I, um... I was going more of that. I feel people are more easily offended these days. Oh man, they really are. Well, that's just everyone in society. That's true yeah. too. Yeah. In fairness. Although I don't think it's been as bad as it was a few years ago. But still, there are people that I'm not get offended easily. Mm -hmm. Right, so they're, they're weak. weak. They are weak. We're gonna damage all enemies with this one. Hopefully this Alright, here we go. Come on, stag. Alright, cool. Ooh. The wall on the bottom is is pretty low, so I'm probably gonna aim to focus on him. Right. Unless I'm softened, whatever that means. Pretty good runner. Is 
time to hit the dusty trails. Wow, that move was the, was great that I gave her. The um, so basically, I don't know if you noticed, but the first thing I did for her was I used. I might even use it again. This one, rodeo yeah. or positive, because what it does is for the next four turns she will reverse. That's what she keeps doing, and it gives a little damage to them when it's not my turn. That's a smart. We're, we're gonna do it again. You know, I think I'm only on two turns of the of this move already. Stag, you're going to... Oh no, this is Brink. Brink, Brink might just attack the regular from the inside season. Mm. Ooh, wait, no, this looks good. Nothing personal? Nothing personal. I'm gonna try this on the tornado. That was good. And it, and it made him frozen, too. Now you got now you gotta get this wall person. Well, well here I'm gonna do another one of these, the damage all enemy move that I did before. Oh yeah, we're definitely doing way better than last time, which should be expected. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oh wait, the, oh, see, look, there's the rodeo thing again. And fire damage. Oh, let's get yeah, let's get one of these people out of here. Pin on, pin on. Good one down. All right. Bill, how would you feel about performing in the snow like they are right now? Um, I don't think I'd be too thrilled. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've seen footage a few times of the of wrestlers in the rain. I, I would think in the snow would be a lot worse. By the way, do we remember why we're fighting these guys? Story-wise? Oh, they were controlling the weather and... Oh, yeah. Did you mention your, uh... Your weather, the, the what was it, World Wrestling, the World Weather Alliance? Yeah, the World Weather Alliance. Wait, what? Oh, I went for Kim. This is like my favorite move for her right now. Mm -hmm. Just being able to counter all the time. All right, here we go again. Like here's the here's one, one an issue I have with the game mechanic now I guess. So I already pinned once, right? Mm -hmm. And when I pinned the same guy again, I feel like that bar should should have gone a little slower because they should be right. more weak now. Stop making it snow, or stop... No, look at all these things. Why do I have a snow key? <laughs> and a blizzard belt. Whoa, Stag went up two levels in that fight. Level 6, level 8. He learned hockey hardness, fast count, big seller, surf and turf, and burst crusher. 
Frosty, but so we Jack Jackrabbit Juke. Frosty! Happy birthday! And high noon. Bring. Wow, this. They really gave us a lot of. Uh, a lot of experience, because. They did. Because look, I think. I didn't notice Celine, but look, Brink is also going up two levels. Everybody went up two. It even. I didn't notice Celine, so I'm going to assume you're right on that one. He has technical wrestling, gruesome execution of opportunity, block kick, and burst crusher. <gasps> I just know, son. On um, burst crusher on the bottom, it has yeah. three people. So I'm wondering if that means I'm getting my first triple move. Ooh, it might be. Oh, well, I don't remember who was who here. Were you seismic? I think or... you're seismic, though. Oh, I am? Okay. Oh, looks like our predictions were off. Just, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, you're... Wait, are you Stag or am I Stag? No, you're Stag. I'm, stag, I'm yeah. Logan. All right. Just goes to show you you can't... Yeah, that's right. That sounds right now. Just goes to show you you can't trust the weatherman. Ha ha ha. What was that? You heard that? <laughs> I heard that. It sounded like a tumbleweed, but not really. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll call off the filming for the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah, we'll call it off. Just get out of top rope. Gladly. And thank you, guys. The other guy's dead. By the way. <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh, hey, Brink. Yes? Nice wrestling in there. You really are the expert of execution. See oh the, my god. See, they're supposed to be the hearts. Yeah. We thought it was Hogan, but no, it's the hearts for sure. Someone yeah, got sure. someone get me a cold pack. I got a bruise the size of a stormfront. Time to get home and tell Pa the good news. Return to Pa. Return to Pa. I don't see any uh, any other wrestling cameos around here either, so we're just gonna go right there. Yeah. I mean, I, we have to be. It's got to be almost time to go back to uh, our other team. Yeah, Muchacho Man. Yeah, Muchacho Man, because we haven't seen him in a while now. And I feel like we were, I was going to check something with him, but then it wound up, you know, they switched stories on us, but I don't remember anymore what I said I was going to check on. Do you remember at all? No. Uh, I, was it, oh, you know what it was? The, uh, no, I just remembered it. The Junkyard Dog statue. That's right. They were like, nope, you got to be Brink Logan now. So, wait, where is Muchacho Man in term? Like, I'm curious now about the schematics of locations. Right. Clearly, this is in Newark. That's supposed to be in Canada. But I don't remember where Muchacho Man, because it's, it's a junkyard, so that doesn't really tell me anything. Yeah, that could be any junkyard. I don't even remember where Brink lives to be honest to you is it in here <laughs> why is there a house that says the word village on it it's a four-star village it's a, well, it's a yeah right by the way do you think dave belzer is going to show up in this game oh there it is i uh I'm, if he does it's going to be a parody why conrad tonsman was in the game good good point Where's my dad? Yeah. <laughs> Can you stretch it? Yeah, maybe you should have done a stew instead of for Brink's father now. Maybe you should switch it up to be stew. I, I think I will switch okay, it up. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, I think I was um, Ma oh. Logan because you had the other two guys. All right. Yeah. Brink, Celine, you're back. Who was LF font again? 
All right, hold on. I'll yep. do a, I'll do a left one, but I'm gonna yep. see if I can re change the voice here, okay. and I'm gonna I'm gonna do. In my Sea of Stars playthrough, it's for uh, a, a, a woman by the name of Sarai, so I'm gonna do her. That's, well, I hold my nose for it. And we noticed the storm was abated, oppressive. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, guys, you did it. You've saved Snow Slimania. We uh, can't thank you enough. I like your stew slash Mr. Brinkle, uh, Mr. Grandpa Logan. Or Pa Logan. Right. No need to thank us. Anything for the family business. Come, there's still much to do before the show tonight. What are you doing back here? Don't you want to watch the match from ringside? Oh, this is you. Remember, any brink choices are your choice. The camera angles back here help me analyze the match and look for improvements. Or, nah, Dad has to be out front with LF, so I figured I would man the board in case something needs adjusted. Oh, I, I think I like the camera angles back here. Okay. Oh, I thought maybe being that close to those smug Heige boys would be too much to bear. You're pretty perceptive for a moose. I'm trying not to let it bug me. It's still great for our promotion to have our guys go up the big time. I just wish... Look at the bright side, eh? At least you won't have to see them around here anymore. Anyways, I was just checking on you. I'll see you back at the house for the after party. I was just going to say how um, Canada confirmed with the eh. Eh. <laughs> Where's Josiah when I need him? <laughs> We're gonna have him come on one of these episodes, I think. We I should. Don't know when. Go home, okay? Bye. All right. Uh. What's this? Snow math. Going to the match. There is a 141 two third chance of you being entertained tonight. Thank you, Snow Math. Yeah. How about I ask him this? How many snowflakes are falling today? <laughs> we'll see him shut up real quick. Who's this? Lasso. I, I live in Calgaria, but I was born in Pond Fork. My dad and mom carved me right over there in the backseat of that dog sled. Oh, that's nice to know. Okay. What's this? Gerard the Completionist. Who's under a lot of hot weather right now. In real time right now. Bill, don't be surprised if he gets taken out of this game. Because he's gotten taken out of another game. What what game did he get taken out of? Sea of Stars, the one I'm doing a playthrough on. The oh. one I did a playthrough on. He's a real person. This, this is a real person? Yes. What is he in hot water for? Oh, by the time this airs, it's going to be so out of date. How about you look it up and we talk about it off, uh, or we'll talk about it off recording. Let's okay. do more progression here. Gerard. But don't be surprised. That I'm going to be, I guarantee you, if you just looked up his name on the search now, it probably says like, oh, he's been taking out Sea of Stars. Oh. Wow, how did he get in this game, too? Now that I'm thinking about it. Is he a wrestling fan? Well, I mean, but no, but what I'm saying is... Yeah, he fine, he's a wrestling fan, but that doesn't explain how he's in this one and Sea of Stars. Can you look something up for me? Now, now I'm curious about something. Look up... Well, let's do this scene first, and then I'll have you look this up. I want you to look up... Is Sea of Stars done by the same company that did WrestleQuest? Alright, I'll look it up in a moment. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, Celine Logan. Who's Celine again? I'm sorry. You're Celine. I'm Celine. Dad must be proud. He certainly is. Of all 
of the whole promotion and of you and your brother. I think he could show. I'd like to propose a toast to the wonderful Logan family and all their work with North Country Wrestling. Yeah. Why is he, was he the locker room leader? <laughs> Maybe. <Ella Font. laughs> Paul and NCW have had a long-standing relationship of mutual talent sharing and development. Uh, it's true. Our uh, wrestlers know they may have the opportunity to move up to Paul, so they all do their uh, best to impress and give every match their own. Speaking of impressing, I was more than pleased with what I saw here tonight. Tonight I witnessed true selflessness, true dedication, not to personal ambitions, but to the spirit of wrestling itself. Today I saw a heart. Who's <laughs> Lars? Uh I'll, I'll do one. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I don't remember taking anyone's heart out. Do you, Floors? I guess I'll be Floors. Nine. We did the fireplace heart punch two weeks ago. Brink, come over here, son. Wait, son. What you did today to say slow Slovenia was more impressive than any body slam or pinfall in the arena. It's dedication like yours that we need the we need in the big time. That we need to show wrestling fans around the whole toy room. What? 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 How would you like to come up and wrestle in paw? Sir, I I don't know what to don't worry, I wouldn't want to split up the honest bucks. Stag can go too. Oh, right. So, Brink, what will it be? Ah, uh, yes, of course. With that, Brink takes his first steps into Poa. But what of, what of Muchacho Man? Will holding the BEW title open a door to that lofty promotion? You would think so. Yeah, you would think. <laughs> They're gonna give us the Muchacho Man story, aren't they? Yep, we're back here. Once I saw there was a cliffhanger, I was like, you know what? They're gonna switch us back, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Let's check out this junkyard dog statue. Let's see if it says thump anywhere in this area. On his butt. On his butt. Junkyard Dog was the first black wrestler to climb the pinnacle of his promotion. Prior to crushing foes and winning fans as a winning fans as a pro wrestler, he was doing both on the football field. Beloved by his fans and feared by competitors, Junkyard Dog would end matches with his thump, an earth-shaking power slam. I don't know, remember too much about Junkyard Dog. Was that his move? Yeah, it was. Slam? Okay. Alright, well, there's the Junkyard Dog. Oh, who are you? Junkyard Dog was the best. If he knew what the Hubcap gang was up to in his junkyard, they'd be running scared. Oh, one more person, then we'll continue. Yeah, Ragnar. No, no. Ragnar, that's a character from my fi favorite Dragon Quest game, Dragon Quest IV. <laughs> that's not the same guy. You can't be. I always yeah. wanted to be a superhero, but being a pro wrestler is even better. The spectacle in the ring is better than anything in the comic books. Just check out one of JYD's matches. You'll see what I mean. Alright, so what, what am I looking up for? Sea of Stars, uh, and the studio that made it, and then this game, WrestleQuest, and the studio that made it. Yeah, I guess 
Anybody. Who's this guy? I don't think this guy's new. Oh no, Brickhouse. We've heard from Brickhouse. Oh great, another wrestler won. We beat it. Wow. Very rude. So rude. Oh, remember this guy, Wing Knight? I'm working on my rhymes. What can I do with clockwork? Hmm. Um, okay, I gotta I got go back to the first one. Don't worry, I'm just looking to where I'm supposed to go here, because I think maybe I used the wrong entrance. Let me try going out. No, it's two different uh, game companies. That's surprising. I just don't know why he randomly showed up in both of them. Maybe I gotta go in by this way. Because I realize that Boxwood has two different entrances. Mm-hmm. Tutorial managers. Remember, managers are a fourth party member that provide passive bonuses as well as new gimmicks to use during combat. You can view and assign managers through the party menu and access manager gimmicks by opening the gimmick menu and scrolling to the right. I've got a match lined up with Pipe Dream, a real local star on the rise. I've seen that guy. He makes wrestling matches look like televised muggings. All part of that edginess. You dig? Be on your guard. He likes to get extreme. What do you mean? Pipe Dream has been known to ignite his weapon and more to work up the crowd. He's a bit of an ign ignis ignoramus. You may want to grab some fire resistant spandex. Look, wherever you're ready, whenever you're ready, you just come see me, okay? Take on Pipe Dream, a BEW. Okay. Ready to head to the locker room for the final preparations? Yeah, sure. We'll give this a try and see. If we lose, then I'll just level up and <laughs> give it our try again next time. Now that you've got a manager on your side, fights will be a bit different. Managers can help provide a variety of bonuses like passive effects and new maneuvers, and they can also help you with the crowd. Their abilities will activate based on certain actions or at certain times. You can learn more about each manager's abilities and the other people in your group through your pause a sketch. Ombre. Why are you talking to me like a tutorial? <laughs> I'm no stranger to the ring or managers. Yeah, but I bet you've never done a walk-on before, have you? Get... Go out? Really? A walk-on? You bet. Come on, we might be in Boxwood, but this is still pro wrestling, right? You'll be able to choose intro, outro, and passive effects to get the crowd going. You can also pick a few special actions to perform while moving down the ramp to give them that extra degree of... Space? Yeah, that's the stuff. Now don't keep the world waiting. Get out there. So when we're recording this, I had some, some dental work happen. Hmm. Toy Box Jimmy's hmm. voice is hard to do with said dental work. Right. All right. So let's see. We got. I mean, we're just gonna keep all these because I don't think we got anything new. Yeah. Oh, look. So that's where. So this is technically Brinks' music. Right. What's the spice himself? Oh, that's the regular theme. Okay. Immediate effects. Yeah, these are. I don't think these are new at all. So. To confirm. I do find it kind of surprising at this point, as a gamer, that what are we about four episodes in right now? Yeah. That I'm still getting tutorial stuff. I feel like I don't know. I'm like, I'm a little surprised by, and I don't know. It just seems like to me. The story is going a, a bit slow, although to be fair, sometimes that 
what happens in RPGs. Uh -huh. This is just me giving some game evalu gamer evaluation. Uh, no me de gas. Is that a pipe? Are you surprised? I thought. This is my arena, Pilgrim. You're playing with pipe dreams prerogatives. That means all your rules, all your hopes, all your dreams go swirling down the drain and out the pipe. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was funny. Dramatic moments. Let hype drop to minus 10. Okay. I guess I'll let just do it. Yeah, and then let Pipe Dream break out of a pit attempt. So what is it at now? The height meter is at five. Five. Yeah. Well, I don't want to use any gimmicks then because then let's make it go up. So we'll just keep attacking. I mean, I'm still doing pretty good with not using any of those gimmicks. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you're at a negative one. Yeah. Okay. I also gotta watch my health, too. It's not bad right now, but... No, it's not. Eventually. had their dreams strangled, their hopes and aspirations crushed out of them. This guy is so overdramatic. Mm -hmm. I think that's just the crap of me. Thank you. I fight for them. Who do you fight for? I fight for wrestling. Your dreams are finished. Oh, we're at now negative twelve. Well, no, but also, but also, I have to let him kick out. I thought. Yeah. So, all right. Oh wait, I know what you're saying. I can do the gimmick. Yeah. Yeah. Let's use this because that actually does it. damage up. I'm gonna use regular strike. I'm not gonna use. Look, look at this. He's on, he's basically dead now. But I gotta let him kick out. So. And a kick out. All right, now we can actually win. Look at the person on the bottom right. Oh. This can't be happening. Why am I getting so much heat? You're the one with the fire attacks, Umbre. Oh yeah, the one I, I see through here. Quick, someone throw me a chair. No way. No way. <laughs> it's a chair riot. <laughs> okay, I deserve that. Should be able to finish it. Right, you lost in your own hometown. Grunge mm -hmm. jeans. <laughs> Wait, why is Slimy going up a level? <laughs> what? Ah. Is 
slimy apartment now? Walls of wrestling dynamics and stake in the grass. I thought I made the bad decision with slimy. I thought I was against slimy based on our previous muchacho man decision I made. Slams in there. Congrats on winning your first BEW match. Thank you, Senor Jimmy. Maybe now I should build some clout by wrestling in some other local promotions outside of Boxwood. Not a bad idea. Oh no, there's so much talking with Toy Box Jimmy, my tooth bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad idea. Ouch. If you could leave Boxwood, the road out of town is under extended construction. Knowing how the local government handles things in Boxwood, I'd say you could be stuck here for a while. Now I certainly hope I shut up. Anyways, your manager wants a word with you. He might have some next steps in mind. I told him to meet us over at my shop. Ugh. And it's the only voice for some reason that, that bothers me with my condition right now. Alright, let's go to the shop. Where's the shop? Good question. I mean, I guess it's telling me to go this way. Here we go. Oh, look, it's the building that says shop on it. What a oh, shock. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll do this now. Okay. Dude, I'm telling you, we've never chopped a weirder car. Yuck. Sounds like a time to carpe sanitizer him. Muchacho man. Nice work in the ring, amigo. You have a way with the crowd. A regular E Pluribus, amigo. Thanks to your slamming skills and my speaking skills, your managerless Fidelis here got you in the running for the PAW Dark Match. Amazing. That's right. And get this. They're bringing in the Brooder to really rile things up. The Brooder? Dios mio! He's one of my favorites from the Golden Era. Yes, but he's been on a bit of a down streak. Still, my swamp sense says he is still the fighter. Anyways, if you want to secure your spot in the dark match, first you'll have to become the local champ and win the BEW Championship belt, Vinny Vitty Vici style. Who said Vinny Vitty Vici that I? I'm thinking of. Oh, I feel like uh, we'll figure it out. I'm ready. Who is the one currently holding the title? Oh, wait. Do you think it's gonna be Brink? Ooh. Not one, but three. Wasteland Express. Okay, I guess not. Oh no. For those of us more familiar with the local library than the local wrestling scene, do you mind explaining who that is? Wasteland Express are a group of marauders that prowl the blasted landscape, looking for oil for... their vehicles? No, oil for their bodies. Sequitter, sequitter. They're into that strangeness. The stable consists of the wily Grease Beast, the agile RC Raider, and the mighty Desert Eagle. They're apparently known about the Paul Dark Match too, because they've invited all challengers to come and face them in their Wasteland Fortress Wrestling Ring playset. A fitting arena for the birth of a star. Come on, Jimmy, let's go. Actually, I think I'll set this one out. What? I may need you, my friend, to get through their fortress. 
and there are three of them. It's only fair if you join me in the ring, right? Come on, Jimmy. If I'm going, then you're going too. You, Dr. Jones? This one doesn't concern your school, though. I know, but it may do the kid some good to see the BEW belt in the hands of someone a little more heroic than these Wasteland Warriors. That's Wasteland Express. Whatever. So, Jimmy, don't start slacking now. Let's go. All right, all right. But if I start playing it cool, don't start honking your horn, you understand? Wait a minute, guys. Do you realize this is a trap? Yes. They just invite everyone to come challenge them. They're probably counting on the challengers getting torn up, storming their fortress. So what do you suggest? If we're going to launch an assault, we should bring more firepower. I happen to know just the person. Barbe knows a guy who can help. Okay. I did not hit that. It just left itself. So, I don't know. Let me see. What are we on with time? Oh, we still have a bunch of time. Okay. So let's see if we can figure out this other person we gotta go find. Um... Ch -ch -ch -ch. I guess let me go this way. We still never got an answer on that question mark. I still don't know what that, that is. Right. Alright, so it looks like the, this is the right way so far. Wait, I thought I just saw the thing. And yeah, it it's, with the, it's at the hospital. Oh, is that it right there? No, no, no. Wait, look, okay. I guess it's this. Can I go in? Oh, because she's a doctor, probably. Nuke! <laughs> All right, I'll do that. I'll oh, do that. Okay, you can do Nuke. Dr. Jones, Foxwoods <laughs> Fighting Educator. Did you give up on your search for that left-handed monkey wrench? You want to bring us... You want to bring this busted face soldier toy with us? Heh. <laughs> Old words from the commander of the chop shop. With you where? On the road to the BEW Championship belt. Not much of a wrestler. All the grunting and bare chests remind me of boot camp. In order to get the belt, we have to storm a desert fortress. An assault on a hardened site out in the MMD? Sounds like my kind of mission, but I get paid to fight. That's no trouble. You can have all of the proceeds from the BEW championship match. You can? You can. I don't need money, just the championship title, so I can guarantee my spot in the PAW Dark Match. Boy, Muchacho Man is the ideal wrestler for any promoter. I don't mm -hmm. need the money. I don't need the money, I just want the money. <laughs> you don't need the money. You're my type of client. Okay, count me in. I suggest we assault the fortress at night. Better chance of sneaking in that way. Get ready to do that voice from now on, because apparently he's a party member. Yep. He's going to bring a lot to the party. Right, so I don't think you... Bill, why is it beeping mm. and no one's in these beds? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me see who this is, and then we'll... Nurse Joy... Oh yeah, it's pronounced no... It's pronounced joy dash ah. Got it. Anyways, you need some healing, baby. It'll only cost you 500 slam bucks. No, I'm probably healed already. <laughs> yeah, you look healthy to me. Feel free to come back for healing anytime. It only cost 500 to heal you, baby. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, what kind of healing are you doing? No, there's joy a. Joy dash a. Exit Bachwood head north to the Wasteland Wrestling promotion. Okay. Good, we get to see a new area then. But why is there... I guess it's just saying, why is there an exclamation point, but I clearly have to leave here? Yeah, 
again. I think you're going the wrong way. No, but I think we have to leave. All right, yeah, fly. but it said to go north. All right, fine. I'll go north. Bye, nasty boys. Oh, I know why, because the exit is actually north and to the east. There we mm -hmm. go. Okay, that's what it is. Still would love to know what that question mark is, but can't figure out what it's to. Besides, I'd rather go to the new area and see what wrestler heads up the new area. It's W. It's like a desert area. Yeah. Oh! Road Warrior statues. So it's the Road Warriors. How's your hawk? <laughs> wow! <laughs> These guys definitely know how to buckle up and don the armor and were great as heroes or villains. If the Chrome Crusader were to enter the squared circle, would he be a Tsar's heel or a Tsar's face? Road Warriors were a true tag team of domination and doom. Sheathed in leather studs and spikes, with faces adorned in red and white war paint, they intimidated and demoralized their opponents before even entering the ring. And there's a treasure chest. I see that too. Uh, debuting as a heel tag team, the duo of Animal and Hook left a swath of devastation and pain in their wake as they cut their way to the top and several championship belts. With brute force, the missing demeanors, and the mighty doomsday device tag team finisher, the Road Warriors were like a force, were a force like no other. And we will get that treasure chest right now. I don't know what these keys are. I feel like we have a couple of keys in our possession. Yeah. I want to figure that out off recording. Oh, what are you? Sand feather. <laughs> Intimidating, aren't they? Inspirational even in their brutality. They are legends. The road warrior defined tag teams for all of wrestling. They inspired more than just tag teams, friend. There's a cult of road warrior devotees that roam the Rust Belt suplex, looking for people to slam on spoils of war. Be careful of these Wrestle Raiders. Visit the pile driver with Toy Box Jimmy. I don't even know what the pile driver is. Yeah, I wouldn't know on this one. Alright, continue to go up. Bird and Brody Gilt, what are you doing here? I think you were Neon Gravebird. No, I was the other guy. Oh, you're the other guy? Okay, I'll be Neon yeah. Gravebird. Okay. You have a better memory than me for these things, so I'll trust you on this one. Right. The same thing you're here for. The BEW belt, of course. Hey, didn't think I'd see you here, Toy Box Jimmy. Come on, Grave Bird. You take the high road, I'll take the low. Oh, and are they gonna get to Scotland together? Maybe. Kind of fitting and ironic at the same time, isn't it, Highlander? Just avoid those spotlights, alright? And remember, we both have to hit the controls for the gate. What? The Wasteland Express and claim the BW Championship. I guess we better split up too. Oh. Hmm. Split party. Time to split up that stable. In many situations and locations, you'll have to split your party into multiple teams. You may end up splitting into two or three teams with two or three members each. Use L and R while exploring to switch between teams. Alright, well, it 
doesn't help that I don't know anything that Nuke does. Right. So I guess for team one, I'll be having Chacho Man. And. Toy Box Jimmy? Yeah, I guess Toy Box Jimmy's fine. And then Barbe will be team two with Nuke. Yeah, that, that, that makes the most sense. You know sense. why? Because Barbe, I think, also has heal. And that way, in case Nuke gets in trouble. Mm -hmm. right, yeah. Go. No, 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 go back. I forgot. Does the slimy have to go on the team, too? Okay, hold on, wait. One. There. There we go. Goddamn slimy. Um, <laughs> alright. I think this is fine. Yeah. No, it's fine. I don't know how to get out of here, though. I oh, think you gotta hit the here we go. Do you want to save current party composition chess? There we are. Oh, I messed up! Somehow. Because I'm with Barbe. Right. Can I redo it? God! Oh, wait, go to team? Wait, uh, what did I do? I hit the... What do you mean, go to team? Okay, go back to the pause. Oh. Go down to team. Party. Yeah, here we go. Ah! Great. Wait, but why is he with her then? I did it right. Right. This makes no sense. All right, let me. So if I put him, no, get out of here. Shut up, slimy. <laughs> All right. So if I put her up here, oh wait. I don't know. I'll figure it off off recording. I guess. All right. Or we'll just be stuck with it. Now, why am I Barbe? As no, I want to be. Here we go. Yeah, I want to be Muchacho. Ouch! What happened okay. there? So we gotta avoid the light. Wait. Missed a string. Why isn't Barbe following me? Do I have to do it one by one? Hold on. I'll go back. Go back to the muchacho now. If I get into this battle, is it only gonna be me? That's my question. No, wait, well, what? But why is the toy box Jimmy now? I'm so confused. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna do Monkey Wrench. Just like that song. What's the name of that song? You know, do you remember? I'll never be your yeah. monkey wrench. Yeah, I'll never be your monkey wrench. <laughs> My nephews have recently been singing All Star by Smash Mouth. I don't know why. Or did they watch I mean, Shrek or something? Like, that was a no. Shrek movie, wasn't it? Or the Mystery Man. Would... Might have been Mystery Man. So, wait, do they just. That'd be great if they all of a sudden just wake you up and go, Somebody told me. If they do, they're, they're gonna end up like Stag. They're gonna end up looking like Mooses. <laughs> when did this start? Very recently. I don't, apparently, like, my, I, my sister said, like, apparently the song's making a comeback. Okay. Which I have no idea about. All right, I'm pretty so, sure. Uh, if it is making a comeback, if it is making a comeback, please let me know on Twitter at House of Bill. <laughs> uh, and also, for those that are wondering, I believe that I have talked about this on Now That's What I Call Podcasting 3. So you can check out my discussion on Smash Mouth's All-Star. Yep, I don't know where you are. Don't have yeah. a clue. He's certainly not a grouch. <laughs> right. The one thing I want to try before we end this episode, because I know we're getting a time here a little bit. If I leave, do I still, do I have everyone back? Or do I leave the area? 
or am I stuck with just them being split up for good? Slimey, you don't even do anything. Well, I'm their manager. Uh, you're not. Is he even out there? Did I? I didn't even look. No, I, I didn't see him. I feel like you got to do something with that light, though. Yeah, or not. for sure. No, no, for sure. But what I'm, I want to try the thing where I leave and see if my party is full again. So I'm gonna leave. All right, let's see. No, it won't let me leave. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. All right, let's figure out this light situation. Do you have to come up here, maybe? Hmm. What's this do? Oh! You were right! There we go, alright. I'll keep him up there in case I need him to do mm -hmm. something up there. Yeah. Another light. And a treasure chest. Okay. And more of the shark enemies. Yeah, there's definitely a, a a puzzle that we're not gonna complete in this episode. Yeah. Oop. fight the shark guy and I'm gonna assume I have to get the turn off the uh, the yellow box thing. Mm -hmm. Oh maybe I can avoid fighting the shark person. Wait a minute, unless I thought maybe I could jump across it. It's not the case. All this does is do that. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's be him again. And let's see if we can. I mean, I can't really avoid those, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oops. Actually, no. I want to go this way. I'll fight the shark real quick. Yeah, you got. You got. To fight yeah. The shark. And then after this battle, we'll probably head out for this video. Alright. I will say this, everyone, that me and Bill have been talking and we have a thing where we might be doing in a few episodes where we might watch some retro uh, wrestling events. You know, in the spirit of this retro-inspired, retro-wrestling-inspired game. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then we would watch it, and then you know when we have downtime like you know now where I'm just kind of just fighting, me and him will talk about it and what we watched, what we liked, mm -hmm. what we didn't like, mm -hmm. and we invite everyone to join in the conversation as well on that. I can't guarantee that we're gonna start that next episode, but people will know ahead of time. It won't just be sprung at them. I don't think. Right. I don't know when they got eye beams. That's new.
Once again, Slimy does nothing. <laughs> and he goes up the level for doing nothing. <laughs> I have to be missing something with that. Maybe instead, when I go for tag moves, maybe Slimy is one of the options, and that's how... Mm -hmm. That's how he gets involved. All right, everyone. Bill, tell people where they can find you. All right. Uh, I said it a moment ago, but I'll say it again. You can follow me on Twitter at House of Bill. And find me on Instagram, MrBilliam85. And, of course, as you are on here, official RP Jimmy on Twitch and YouTube. And on Instagram, it's That's Podcasting. And we'll catch you next time for some more of WrestleQuest.